Intern, good morning. Look at the beautiful blue sky and the wide open fields. Oh, and look at the little plants on our little little fence. I love it. Look at this beautiful little plant. Oh, oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Oh, but intern, we have good news. In case you didn't know, and I'm sure you did, today is actually International I Love Horses Day. And in honor of that day, I decided that it was very important to add in one of the critically endangered species of the world to our zoo. And they're in there. In fact, I forgot to put a gate in. I just finished throwing up this fence. So good timing, intern. Always good to see you here bright and early in the morning. Ah, oh, looks like our fennec foxes are kind of passing away, coming to life again. Hmm, we'll keep an eye on them. Let's see, we'll put one here, we'll put a gate there. There we go, now our zookeepers can get around. But right inside here, intern, are actually some horses. In fact, they are the very last of the wild horses in the entire world. Out of the whole world, every other horse species has been domesticated except this one. And I'm going to mess up the name, even though I swear, let's see if I remember, I, oh, come now. Hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see. I want to get this right, intern. I'm very serious about these things. All right, so it would be Shlovalski. Shlovalski's horse. Even though it's not spelled anything like that, we have Shlovalski's wild horse. These are actually, the, like I said, the last wild horses in the world. And you can find them up around Mongolia and in Central Asia. They're actually a very important part of Mongolian society since Mongolia traditionally relied a lot on horses. Uh, these are not any tamed ones though. They are critically endangered because their numbers almost hit zero in the early 1900s when they were collected uh, so much for the exotic pet trade and for the exotic zoo trade. That was back when zoos weren't really the more scientific establishments that they are now. So things things got pretty serious. Why is Skylock in a crate? What are my people doing? Why is there a man in our, in our... Look, sir, look. If you wanna have a hands-on experience, I have camels for you to pet right here. Oh my goodness, Skylock. Skylock, darling, you don't need to be in a crate. You just ignore that, that kooky old man, okay? He has no right to be inside your exhibit. You were here first. I wonder why on earth that happened. I'll have to keep an eye out. Oh, but our zoo is doing great in turn, and I'm so excited to add a new spot to it. To add this spot. Because they're grassland animals, uh, I wanted to give them a lot of room to roam, especially because they're wild horses. But I also wanted to put them kind of close to where we started our Asian exhibits. And I have a feeling our Asian exhibits will kind of trickle this way. So this is actually so we can make a bridge over the exhibit in the future and keep it going. There's just so much. My to-do list for projects and ideas for this zoo just continually grows. Oh, Isla has finally passed away of old age. Goodbye, Cheetah Darling. Goodbye. S sleep well. Oh, very sad. But yes, so today is I Love Horses Day. And let me know, intern, if you're a big fan of horses. I know that you've told me occasionally that you really, really love horses. And we're going to try to do what we can to get this exhibit looking as wonderful as possible. It is about time that we have expanded into different parts of the zoo. And don't worry, we will go back and finish up the savanna area and all the projects that we have. But since today's a special day, I figured we'd take a break uh, from our current projects and just do this one. So let's see what we've got here. These are indeed grassland animals. And I wish we had more varieties to pick from. I guess the neem tree is almost as close as we can get, even though this is from India. Let's see, any, any trees? Any trees? Well, we do have orange trees. You can kind of find those here and there. Hmm. Any trees, English oak, the neem, trembling aspen, sacred fig. Not really having any luck. It looks like we're just going to have to go for a few oak trees. Maybe some bur oak. Uh, not native to where these guys are, but we have to kind of, we have to, we can't be picky and choosy right now, unfortunately. All right, let's add some trees over here, some trees over here. Not too many since this is a grassland uh, themed sort of area is what we're going for. And in fact, let's see, ah, oh, there we go, tall, steppy grass, that's what we're looking for. We really probably want to coat the area. Let's see, Cherokee grass, June grass, very nice, very beautiful grasses. Let's see, sledge grass, that's not the right place. Oh, and there's little plants, oh my goodness, that makes me so happy we'll be able to put some little plants down, yay! All right, let's make this nice and thick so we can make these horses feel at home. It's really fascinating. While I was doing my research about them, I learned that they were down, uh, reportedly, to about 130 individuals that were entirely in captivity. Uh, back when zoos were more for the entertainment value and not so much for conservation and research, 
they were really overhunted as an exotic animal from the far far east is basically what the gist of it was. And you can actually breed these horses with normal horses, even though they have 66 chromosomes. And the domesticated horse has, or let's see, 64 or 62, somewhere in that range. And believe it or not, unlike the offspring of the donkey and the horse, uh, the offspring of uh, Zawalski's horse and the normal domesticated horse can have babies, so they're viable. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna keep these guys here. Oh, look at this. The grass is getting me getting me excited for these ones. But yeah, keeping this species alive has actually taken international efforts, just like the cheetah, to monitor their genetic viability because their numbers got so tremendously low. Uh, that's a very serious deal to get down to like 130 individuals. That's like the kakapo, kakapo even. Oh, I love that bird. Oh, I wish I could have that bird in this zoo. That would be amazing. But there's like only 165 individuals in the entire world of those birds, which is a pity because they're very fascinating and their evolutionary history is amazing. But we will do our part to try to keep these individuals up. Internationally, several different zoos and countries have contributed in breeding programs and monitoring the genetics of these horses so that they can have some genetic viability and not go the way of the cheetah where unfortunately you know there's just not enough enough health uh, genetically there to keep the species going long term so hopefully these guys won't go that way lots of different countries contributed to keeping the species going and now they have been reintroduced to the wilds of Asia where they live uh, and I think the population last it was monitored from what I've read is upward over a thousand now so that's very good very, very good. Let's see, I like that kind of touch up your grass. Let's see, what else should we add? What else should we add in here, interim? Probably not the Cherokee grass. I guess it's a whole nother, whole nother place, but I'm very happy with this grass. Turned out a lot, lot nicer than I thought it would be. Mix in some color, maybe. I don't know, I think we're good. I think we're good just with that, that coloring. We'll put some along the back here for our wee horses. I thought about giving them a stable, but I just kept thinking about how these are wild horses. I think I mentioned they're only about four feet tall too, so they're not very big. Um, growing up in America, when I thought of wild horses, I always thought of the wild mustangs that roam around some of the states here. Um, in controlled parks, there's really you're not just going to look out your window and see like a horse walk by, unfortunately. <laughs> But I thought about the wild mustangs, and those mustangs in America are actually descended from animals that have escaped. So they can't really be considered truly wild since they're the descendants of domesticated animals. These horses have never been domesticated. Um, they've been used for hunting, like to be hunted. Um, and they've been admired, but they've never they've never been tamed. So let's see, let's give them a nice little nice little hay bed. Like I said, I thought about, whoopsie daisy, I thought about giving them uh, a stable, but they, I, the wild factor just kept calling to me. So I wanted to give them more like a little, a little wild area to sleep in. Let's see, and then maybe some rocks. Just a few rocks scattered here and there, kind of as accents. Ooh, that's a big old rock. Ooh, but I like it. All right, you can go here, big giant rock. Kind of give everyone a little more distance from our, our beautiful horses. And just a couple more. Just as accents. We don't want to overdo it for them so they don't they don't hurt themselves on the rocks. Oh, look at that! Oh, and then scratching post and salt licks. We can put the little salt lick right here. We'll put a whole bunch of carrots down. We can pretend this is like a wild carrot patch that the little horses have found. And we can put all these apples. You can pretend that this is like an apple tree where the apples fell down. There you go, guys. And as for the hay, we will put the hay, I think, inside of a trow just to keep it just to keep it tidy. And as for the water, I want to give them a little teeny pond right here, maybe. Hmm. Where should we? Like maybe a little stream right here or right here. Where should we give them a little stream? Right here? Yeah, right here looks like a good spot. Even though it's probably going to take out some of the grass we so just lovingly placed from the greenhouse. <sighs> but that's alright. Alright, let's see. Let's get... Yeah, nice little stream. Right there for them. Good, and the grass didn't get taken out. That makes me happy. 
And then we, we can put a giant rock. Like big old giant rocks. Kind of piled right here. There we go. So it looks more like a little natural, natural stream bed where water just comes out of there. Like where water just comes out. There we go. All right, and what else do we have to pick from when it comes to, ooh, we've got the daisies. Very nice daisies. They come from Europe though. So let's see if we can find anything, anything that wants to be native to where they are. I'm trying kind of hard. Let's see, where are you from? North America. Carnations, worldwide. Okay, so like there's some, yeah, the crocus I'm pretty sure. Some of the pansies and carnations. Oh, the dahlias. Oh, beautiful dahlias. Yeah, some of these I think are worldwide, so we should be okay. Just sprinkle a few of them here and there. A few daisies. Oh, a little daisy field would be beautiful. Maybe over here. I know that there's a deep spiritual connection that some people feel towards horses, so I'm trying to provide like a little area where people can come and sit in the benches and can just relax and unwind and feel connected to these beautiful animals. Though I wonder if people get that feeling from the wild ones. Hmm, it's a good question. I've never really studied equine, equine knowledge, even though I did attend a school that was world, like world famous for some of its equine abilities. But you know, I just wasn't, I wasn't into it at the time. I was too busy crawling in streams and catching leeches, to be honest, in turn. All right, it's just nice little, nice little cluster of dahlias right around this tree, cause why not? And sprinkle in some, some daffodils, just cause I can. Maybe not that many daffodils. You only need a little bit of yellow to accent. Say lawn landscaping 101 with Siri. You never know what you're going to come across. All right, and then let's see, maybe a little scratching post kind of on this side. We've got the food and water and the bedding taken care of. Um, maybe so, a few little crocuses right here. Just a little bed of them. Kind of peeking. Maybe we'll, yeah, we'll do it like this. We'll sprinkle them. Sprinkle them through the grass. And I think that this is going to give them an absolutely calm, beautiful little area. Let's see, it's just where they can unwind. Any other flowers I want to throw in here? Just kind of sprinkle them in. Ooh, maybe put some tall June grass over here. Yeah, look at that grass! Beautiful, I didn't see it before. But we can make like this little June grass area. There we go. Nice! Yeah, let's put more of that June grass down along the edges too. just to kind of border in the area. Oh, I think that they'll love it. I think that this will be a nice, nice spot for them. There we go. Good, nice little diversity that we've got going on here. Any other plants I'm really, really, really in love with? There's the pansies. We might put the little pansies right in here. Yeah, we'll do a little pansy garden for the people who come and sit down to watch the animals. And I think we'll do... Let's see, any trees? Any trees right here? No, I think we're going to keep it like feeling open. Kind of like how people would feel if they came to, to look at the animals. Alright, let's put some... Just we'll, we'll make like a little mixed pansy bed. Right here. Maybe put a border in so people don't walk all over my pansies. Because that would be rude rude but the guests might throw trash in there and that'd be even ruder all right let's see blue pansies or orange pansies or purple pansies they're a nice little peaceful pansy garden i like it and fill in the gaps a little bit wow that's a lot of pansies <laughs> but it looks really nice it looks really nice so we'll do that for our guests and we'll keep the same, same colorations going. All right, I'm very happy with this. Good, 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 good. All right, get some pansies in there and then the pink ones. Mm -hmm. Mix up pink pansies. 
what should we name these horses in turn if you could let me know and like i said if you love horses let me know because i know there's a lot of deep passionate horse lovers out there i do have one name for one of the females that i've been holding on to for a very long time for a very special friend of mine so i'll name that one in just a second but i think we are ready to let our horses out and let them roam around a little bit there's one little girl we have two girls one boy this is kind of like a, a characteristic that horses all over the world do share where they have one lead stallion in his little harem. There we go, the dust settles. And now we can pop in. <gasps> it's so pretty here. Oh good, I think you guys, oh you're so beautiful. This short mane right here, the little mohawk like mane and the tight like little compact body are indeed traits of these wild horses that I really like seeing. Oh my goodness, look at him. Oh, look at him. Oh, you guys are so beautiful. Oh. Wow. They are very lovely. Oh, and he's so cute. Look at him go. But yeah, these are truly wild horses, so we're not ever going to ride these guys. And they are critically endangered still because their numbers are so low. So hopefully being here in our little zoo means that they will be able... Oh, they're going for the carrot patch. Oh yeah, you guys like the carrot patch? Oh, is that so? Are you going for the carrot patch or the apple orchard? I think they're going for the apple orchard. They're pretty, pretty dead set determined and chucking along oh look at that i love how the crocuses are just kind of hiding in this june grass oh that's beautiful good 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 yep there they go chugging along they don't move too fast i'm kind of used to like the idea of horses zooming fast across the open wilderness but these ones seem pretty content oh they found the apple orchard glad to know you guys are enjoying yep is that pretty yummy? I'm glad they enjoyed that. Ah, well there we go. Yeah, they're just kind of putzing over to the apples. We'll have to see what people think about these little horses. And let's see, I'm just gonna double check our notes. Oh yes, and then one of the girls. This is this a female? Yep, this is a female. So this one has a special name of Allison that I've been saving for a very long time. And why can't my maintenance worker, ah, oh, that's why my maintenance worker can't reach the trash. We'll put that right there. We are going to have to redo this exhibit soon. I already have a couple uh, individuals who are going to be going into this exhibit as well from an old deal that I promised to fulfill. Oh, there they go. Now they're starting to run around. Oh, fantastic. I think this was the right choice in turn. Fill up the area. We just need to be bold. Oh, I just walked in the water. Check out for leeches. We don't want to walk in the leech water. I think we just need to be bold and, and happy. Oh, and they're grooming each other again. Amazing. Oh, just fantastic. Oh, come on. I really wanted a picture of that. All right, let's see. Album. Oh, yeah. And we're supposed to get a picture of a guest holding a soda again. That's just so silly. All right, let's see. Photo album. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> New photo album. Horses are cute. There we go. That should make it a lot easier to take pictures of these guys. Or at least I thought. Let's see. Come on. Uh, photo album. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm getting it now. Huh, oh, that's how you do it. You come over here and you pick the pictures and you're like, come down in here, pretty pictures. Well, intern, we just learned something completely new. I'm very excited. I am very excited. I didn't know about this. <laughs> So there, that's what you do. Uh, it makes more sense. This makes so much more sense. Well, there's our horse pictures. So let's go ahead and put you here. And then you do this. You clear all the photos from the camera. Uh -huh, I did it, I did it, I did it. All right, so they're just kind of plodding along. That's fine, that's fine. You guys can do that. And hopefully we'll have to see if we can get lots and lots of guests to walk over this way. <gasps> we have a guest. What do you think, sir? Also, I need to give you an ATM. Clearly. Because we need to fleece you for your dollars and put another put another everything over here. Do you, do you like him? What do you think? He's coming. He's going to look at the horses. I'm standing in the pansy garden. Don't mimic me. Don't stand in the pansy garden, please. Oh, what do you think? 
What do you think? What is your critique of the area? What are your thoughts? Can't wait to see some animals. These are very rare wild horses. I feel like I need to set up an educator right here so that the educator can talk about this. Any comment? He's thinking about it. <gasps> we must be doing better. Oh, he took a picture of them. I think he likes them. Good. Well, that makes me happy. And now that new objects are available, I'm just going to check really quick to see if our beavers can build their little little dam out of their sticks yet. <gasps> they can! They can! We can get a pile of branches now. Well, we'll have to do that tomorrow in turn because it has been a nice long day. And our horses are very happy and we have people coming to look at our horses. So I'm going to add in some benches, kind of spruce uh, these, these areas up. Humphrey, why are you hungry? I'm going to tend to our very stubborn camels who can't seem to figure out how to eat. And then we will have to get back to work on our other projects in the morning, intern. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. Oh, look at our little horses. Yes. Yes. All right, I'm going to get some benches up and maybe breed up some more uh, dinosaurs so that we don't run low on our money. And I will see you back here tomorrow morning, intern. Oh, no. When we try to claim our star back so that we can get our beavers their branches, among many other projects. All right. We'll have to come and relax with our horses. We'll make, in fact, we'll put a little uh, gazebo in right here, actually. That would be a good idea. I'll move the pansy garden and put in a gazebo somewhere. All right, internal. See you in the morning. Bye bye.